Hello there, I am Juan from Porter and today I will show you how to fix the Facebook disconnection error on your Google Data Studio reports. I will show you how to spot this issue, why it happens and how to solve it. I will show you how you can notice that this problem is happening. You will go to your Google Data Studio reports and obviously you will notice that nothing is working, the reports are crashing, the charts are not displaying any data and they show an error that says dataset configuration error, the common error message from Data Studio. On any of those charts you will click on see details and on see details you will see the error message this is very important because whenever you want to fix something on data studio you will go to the error message that data studio reporting in this case they are showing that the message is error validating access token and other text which means that facebook revoked the access to Porter metrics to retrieve your facebook data so why this happens officially facebook makes these changes or revoke the access to third parties like Porter every 90 days. But officially, they make it more often due to security and privacy reasons. So it is a th something from Facebook. Has ever happened to you that your Facebook Ads account is banned or blocked randomly with no reason? Well, this also happened to third parties, especially analytics applications. Now that I spotted the error, I noticed, uh, I noticed that this is the error, I will go to OK and I will show you how to fix it. You will go to Edit. And on edit, you will follow this step most of the times, 90% of the times that you want to fix an error on your Google Data Studio reports, this is the exact same step by step. So I will go to resource, manage all data sources, and here you will see the data that is connected to this particular report. Here for this report, we are connecting only Facebook Insights. It means my Facebook page to this Data Studio report. I will go to click on edit. And here you will see all the fields of the connector listed, but I don't want to be here. I want to go to edit connection. Okay, also a possibility is that you don't see the metrics list. You can be redirected right here to the configuration of the connection. We will see this text, but what we want to do is click here because we want to reconnect. Okay, in this view, you will connect Porter with your accounts. For this exercise, we are connecting Facebook Insights, and this means that my connection is failing. This is my Facebook account, and it is not working anymore. I will do two things, but the first thing I will do is I will click on this trash because I want to remove this connection that it is not cor working correctly, and I will do it again, or the Instagram pages. So I will click on continuous one, my personal profile, and my suggestion is that you select all the pages possible. I will let you know why uh, later. I will go to next, and then give Porter all the permissions here because we need to retrieve all the metrics that you need for, for your reports and click on done. Once you connect your Facebook profile, you will have this view. You will see the Porter metrics authentication. Uh, make sure that you are logged in on your Porter account with the same email that you are using on Google Data Studio. This step is critical. If you are using another email on Google Data Studio that is different with from the email that you're using on Porter, uh, you may have problems. And also verify that the Facebook profile that you connected is here on your portal account. You don't need to have the same Facebook email on your Google Data Studio email. This is, this is not relevant. For instance, you can see I have a Gmail account here, but I am connected with another email on Data Studio. So here I have connected Facebook. You may be wondering why I gave authorization to all the Facebook pages, because if you don't, the next time that you want to connect your data, we will need to do it from Facebook and we'll, we will need to remove the access from Facebook and again create the permissions process. Actually in this video I will show you how to do it, but this is the fastest way to do it. If you connect all your pages, which is the right and fastest way to do it, and you have already connected your Facebook profile, the next step is clicking on next. And here you will go and click on next. Perfect. If you are seeing this view where you can retrieve all your Facebook pages, this means that we are mostly done. So I will choose one of these Facebook pages and I will click on reconnect. Now click on continue and finally click on done and close. Once I go back to the Google Data Studio report, you will see that the data is loading correctly. So we fixed the problem. I would recommend you something. If you still see the problem, make sure to click on the error message. And if the error message is the same, only refresh the report. You will click here on this three dot icon and click on refresh data. And now the data should be pulled. But let's make this a little bit more complicated. Okay, now the report is working. But what about if you didn't connect the Facebook page that you wanted or there is something wrong and it is still not working? I will show you how to 
disconnect everything and start from scratch. I will show you how to disconnect Facebook from Data Studio and Potter from Facebook. Let's start over. So I will go to Resource, go to Manage All Data Sources, and here you will see that we have this Facebook Insights Connector. But what you will do is that you will click on Add a Data Source. And here we will look for our connector, which is, uh, I will type Porter Metrics. Once you type Porter Metrics, you will go to the connector Facebook Insights, but instead of clicking on this window, you will click in this icon and please go to Revoke Access. So here is how we are disconnecting the Facebook connector from Porter Metrics on Data Studio. I will remove this thing. So this is the first thing I will do. Now, I will go to a Facebook profile because I want to start from scratch the connection with Facebook so I make sure that everything is working properly. If I go to Facebook, please go to your Facebook profile, go to settings and on settings you will find the uh, option security and login. I have found that not all the Facebook profiles have the same navigation but in the end all the Facebook profiles somewhere even though you have different navigation, should have this view, a view where you can see all your business integrations. Here you can see all the business integrations that are connected to my Facebook profile. What I will do is that I will remove Facebook, uh, the connector from uh, Porter Metrics here, and the connector is one of them. This one is Facebook Ads, this one is uh, Instagram, this is Instagram Public Data, this one is for Facebook Insights. I will go to Remove and click on Remove. Perfect. If you want, we can repeat the exercise and we can disconnect the other ones because maybe, you know, uh, we have multiple connectors for Facebook. Actually, the one that I disconnected wasn't the, the correct one. I need to connect the one that says Porter, Porter F Insights. That one is for uh, Facebook Insights, which is for Facebook pages. So I will click on remove. Here, I removed Porter Metrics to connect to my Facebook profile so I can create this connection again. Now we will go back to the Google Data Studio Connectors Gallery and we will search Facebook Insights by Porter Metrics. So I will type Insights and now I will choose the connector from Porter Metrics. I have many connections, but because I test these things many times that I will go to the official one, you will only see one option. Uh, now here, we'll wait for it to load and then we will connect again Facebook. I will go to Authorize and on Authorize, I will be asked to reconnect again my Facebook profile and I will make sure that I am connecting all the Facebook pages. Okay, here we will connect our Facebook profile again. So if I have already a connection, because remember we did one in the past, you will go to the trash and I will remove this connection and I will be asked to connect Facebook again. Now you will continue with your Facebook profile or you, you can log in with a different account. I will continue with mine and you will choose all. It is optional. Actually, if you are sure that you won't ever connect one of these Facebook pages, then you don't choose it. But my recommendation is do it. Uh, eventually, you might need it, and ideally, you want to see this page on Data Studio. So go to Next. Remember, give all the permissions and click on Done. And OK. Now you will see that we have successfully connected our Facebook profile to Google Data Studio. You could connect your Facebook profile to Potter and then you could retrieve your Facebook pages or Facebook ad accounts on Google Data Studio. Your reports now should be working. Remember, this is a very common error because Facebook randomly disauthorizes. If you have successfully connected your Facebook profile to Potter and then you could retrieve your Facebook page or Facebook ad accounts to Google Data Studio, you should be done. Remember, it is very common that Facebook disconnects or revoke the access to Potter to retrieve your data and put it on Google Data Studio. But solving this is very simple. You only need to go to Resource, Manage Other Data Sources and reconnect your Facebook profile. And in the worst case scenario, you need to go to your Facebook profile, revoke the access of the app of Potter Metrics there, and then create the process from scratch, which is connecting your account from scratch. That is that simple. It takes a few minutes, but it will solve this common issue on your Google Data Studio reports with Facebook ads or Facebook pages or Instagram. I will see you. I will see you in the next video. Thanks.